Yes, yes, yes. The, I think you, for the benefit of those who might not have been able to hear, I will repeat your question. That uh, the Christians say that Jesus Christ is coming back. The Muslim also say he's coming back. We believe that our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, is Khatimun Nabiin, is the last of the prophets. There shall be no prophets after him. But when Jesus Christ comes, he is a prophet. So how can he come when the Khatimun Nabiin has already come? That is a problem. But there is it's no real problem. You see, if you take any worldly example, the Shah of Iran. You know the Shah of Iran. I think in 1953 he ran away. He had to flee. And America, through certain machination, they put him back again. But suppose, suppose he was not reinstated. And another Shah was taking his place. And then this guy returns. He returns to the country. He said, look, amnesty is granted to him. What is he returning as? Shah? His title is there, Shah. Muhammad Shah Pahlavi. Right? But is he returning as a Shah or as a subject of Khomeini? He's returning as a subject. A king abdicates. He's a king. King George V, let's say he abdicates, or sixth. He abdicates. He's still got the title. He was King George V, the sixth. And there is another king, he said, the last king of Britain was so and so. Right? But this guy is still alive after 80 years, 90 years, he's still there. Or he comes back from another country. We say, well, King George, you know, will say add certain things. But he's still king. But he's not the king of the place. He's got the title. So the prophet is a prophet. But what does he come and do? A prophet's job is to give you new guidance, a new revelation, a new wahi. We Muslims, we don't need anything new. Allah tells us in the Quran, long before, just a little before our prophet passed away, he said, akmaltu lakum He says, this day I have perfected for you your religion. وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نَعْمَةِ And have completed my favors unto you. وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ And have willed that Islam should be your religion. Finish. You don't need another prophet, a Masih or a Mahdi to come and tell you that instead of making three rakats for Maghrib, you make four. You don't have anybody to come and tell you that you fast now for 40 days instead of 30. You don't need anybody to come and teach you anything. Everything that Allah wanted to give you, He's given it to you in al hiris Kalam and in the life example of the Prophet. So what is He going to come and do? See, the question still remains, what is He going to come and do? I said, look, the answer is in the Christian Bible. It's not our problem, it's a Christian's problem. I said, this is in your book, the Bible, the Holy Bible. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, there is a book called the Gospel of St. Matthew. It's the first book of the New Testament. You see, this book, the Bible, is 66 books. This is an encyclopedia of 66 books, divided into Old Testament and New Testament. In the New Testament, there are Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and so on, 27 books. The first book is called Matthew, Gospel of St. Matthew. So in the Gospel of St. Matthew, we are told, supposed to be the words of Jesus, he says, many will say to me on that day of his second coming, or the last day, Yawm al Qiyamah, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, like God, God, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? Did we do so many things for you? You know, we went and looked after the lepers. You know, these backward nations of the earth, we brought them into your religion, we baptized them. You know, we built orphanages for them, we built hospitals for them, we educated them. Did we do all these things in your name? And we took out devils out of people in your name? So Jesus, in answer to that, he says, Then will I profess unto them, then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get away, you rubbish, I don't even know you. I said, that's why he's coming. To tell you that you are off the track. See, I said, who is doing all these things in the name of Jesus? Muslims, do we cast out devils from people in the name of Jesus? Do we? Do we build orphanages in the name of Jesus? Or the Hindus? Or the Buddhists? Or the atheists? Who does it? The Christian. He is doing in the name of Jesus. So I said, he's going to tell you, not the Jews. He won't tell the Jew, Jews, get away rubbish. He won't tell the Hindus, get away rubbish. He won't tell the Muslims, get away rubbish. He's going to tell you. You who say Jesus is Lord, God, Lord, God is right. 
He says, get away from me. I don't even know you because you are off the track. Instead of worshipping the one and only true God, you're worshipping Jesus. For that reason, he's coming back to put you to the right track. We don't need anybody. We don't need a Masih. We don't need a Mahdi. If the time comes, if they come, he says, welcome. But don't wait for anybody. Nobody's going to pull the chestnut out of the fire for you. You will have to do your own work. Then we have been sitting back. We are waiting. The Muslim world has been waiting. That's why I brought to this condition. We are in the gutter because you're waiting for somebody to pull you out of the gutter. Nobody's going to pull you out of the gutter. This is not Allah's law. So Allah says, Inna Allah la yukhajiru ma bi qawmin hatta yukhajiru ma bi anfusihim. Say, Allah will not change the condition of a people unless you change yourself. He is not going to pick you up from the gutter and put you on the pedestal. You will have to work and sweat for it yourself. Yes, any other question?